You're listening to Treasure Hunting for Nostalgia. Hello and welcome to episode 60 of Treasure Hunting for Nostalgia. This is Brad. This is Brandon. This is Nick. (laughs) I would like to invite you guys to come join me in Lulu's Lightning Round. Oh, fuck. This is the name of the game show, Lulu's Lightning Round. Lulu being the greatest black mage ever in Final Fantasy history. We already said second. We all decided on that. I did not. I named this, <laughs> I named this game show after her because the last lightning round is going to be so fucking intense. <laughs> Let's get started here. I have to read something. Can it wait for 61? Negative points. <laughs> it's going to wait for 61. Okay. <laughs> so, we already drew numbers. Uh, this game consists of two rounds. The first round... As you have heard on the other podcasts uh, in 58 and 59, I have categories and subcategories, and the loser will get to pick the next category and subcategory of their choosing, but we went ahead and drew numbers beforehand, and Nick won. So, your categories. (laughs) Brandon's sitting like a female... Can you describe it more? You're crossing your legs. Aaron sits like this. Yeah, but he's got thin legs. <laughs> I mean, it still looks weird when he does it, but it looked even weirder when you did it. He doesn't have Rusev legs. <laughs> Matka. Categories are animals, BJ words, <laughs> Brad knows, <laughs> treasure hunting for nostalgia, movies. Go ahead and pick. I like animals. Categories are... You cold-blooded, man. Cold-blooded. Or... I'm hot-blooded. Hot-blooded. I'll go with... I'm hot-blooded. Five questions in this category. Is it... Sorry to interrupt you, Game Master. Is this the one where, like, I get infinite... Ant- uh, chances to answer or whatever? No, I will re- read you a question and you get one guess. Okay. Brandon can guess if you don't know it, if you get it wrong, but it's just for fun points. It's not for real points. He doesn't get to slap me or anything like no. that? No. Okay. First question. Brad admits his wife Karen would not want to have sex with three mythical creatures from episode 47. Name two of them. <laughs> oh, shit. Brad admits that Karen would not want to have sex with... Is that is that what the question is? Yes. So I'm ha- I have to guess what you answered as mythical creatures that Karen would not want to have sex with. Yes. <laughs> I-, I really have no idea. I know one is a centaur. Centaur is one of them. A succubus... And a Minotaur. Uh, I was going to guess Minotaur if it was if it came down to it. A Minotaur? Because you said, w- would she have sex with a Minotaur? And I was oh. like, probably not. <laughs> Number two. This was the name of Ned Flanders' RV in the first season of The Simpsons. It also shares its name with a strong Final Fantasy monster. It's not correct. Uh, I'm just going to say Behemoth. Correct. Really? <laughs> I would have accepted Behemoth or the Ultimate Behemoth. I didn't know that Behemoth was an animal. That's what threw me off. It is in my book. (laughs) Welcome to Brad (laughs) Knows. Alan succeeds in decapitating this in The Hangover 3. A giraffe. Correct. In Dances with Wolves, Kevin Costner is forced to eat the heart of this animal in an Indian tribe ceremony. Mm, It's been a long time since I watched that. The obvious answer would be wolf, but I I doubt that that's correct. Um, I I, I don't have a guess, so I'm just going to say wolf. Buffalo. I was going to say Tatanka. (laughs) 
That would have been incorrect. Why? It means buffalo in Indian language. This character from Breath of Fire is half woman, half oh, cat, and all sexy. I, I don't know. I didn't play that game. I don't know. It, it was cat. <laughs> so Nick picked up two points. Brandon's <clears throat> turn. You cold-blooded, man. Cold-blooded. Name a snake that can bark. A dog snake. A king cobra or an Indian rat snake? You're like a dog. I know. <laughs> I even said that on one of the earlier podcasts. Yeah, I said, dog. those things could bark. <laughs> According to Brandon, this mythical creature has a death-darting eye. Uh, basilisk. Incorrect. Cockatrice. Yeah, I knew it was one or the other. This reptile shares its name with a summon from the secret of mana. Lizard. Salamander. The fire summon. Next. This character from Breath of Fire is half woman, half snake, and all sexy. Blue. Correct. What was Oren Ishii's codename in Kill Bill? Viper. Do you know it? No. Cotton mouth. So since Brandon is falling behind, you get to pick the next category. That's right. It's all strategy. <laughs> BJ words, Brad knows, movies, or treasure hunting for nostalgia. Movies. Quotes one or quotes two? One. <laughs> there are seven questions each in this category. You have to name the movie that the quote's from. You pawned your Hattori Hanzo sword. Kill Bill 2. Ah, you got it. Of course. I thought you would have said the first one. <laughs> Only an amateur would. Get him a body bag. Karate Kid. Well, maybe they'd like it if I lose. I gotta try losing sometimes. Rounders? The King of Kong. Uh, Billy, Billy Mitchell. Mitchell. <laughs> Fuck this cowboy shit. You fucking hoedown podunk. Well then there, motherfuckers. Uh, Toast from the Crypt, Demon Knight. That's right that, was also, that was also... That was also... Snubbed on our top five hotel movies. <laughs> it was. <laughs> Salsa shark. Oh, clerks. <laughs> That's 30 minutes away. I'll be there in 10. Pulp Fiction. That's right. Wow. How come you always want to make love to me from behind? Is it because you want to pretend I'm someone else? Brokeback Mountain. <laughs> Do you know it? <laughs> it sounds like a Kevin Smith quote. I would probably say Clerks too, but I really don't know. Uh, South Park, Bigger, Longer, and Uncut. <laughs> nice. Satan says that to Saddam. Oh, that's right. <laughs> okay, Nick, here's quotes too. Oh, no, I broke Monster Mash. Oh, no, I broke Monster Mash? I have no idea. I don't know. Do you know? Um, yeah. It's one of those... Um, Judd Apatow movies, huh? Tenacious D. Oh, oh that's right, the, gu the guitar. No, I need to B my L on someone's T's. B? I need to B? I need to B my L on someone's T's. I don't know. Forgetting Sarah Marshall. This is bullshit. I want Bush. Pan down. I don't know. Revenge of the Nerds. I never, <laughs> Burger. I, I never saw that. It's, I know that's a bad thing to say, but I never saw that. A boy's best friend is his mother. I don't know. Psycho? Psycho. The price is wrong, bitch. <laughs> um, Happy Gilmore. Correct. What the hell is a dim knock? Dim knock? Yep. I don't know. Bloodsport. 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 
We were all feeling a bit shagged and fagged and fashed, it being a night of no small expenditure. Um, Clockwork Orange? Correct. <clears throat> so, Nick, you get a choose. Brandon is in the lead by two. It's four to six. We have Brad Nose, BJ Words, and Treasure Hunting for Nostalgia. I'll go with BJ Words. Would you like B or J? <laughs> uh, J, since that's my last initial. There's four questions in this category. All the answers start with a J. Oh no, my traps don't work, and you have 2,400 attack points? And there's... I don't understand. That's not a question. <laughs> it's an exclamation. Oh, it's a question. It says, and you have 2,400 attack points. Question mark. Oh no, my traps don't work, and you have 2,400 hit points. That That's the question? Yeah. <laughs> it's a clue. Oh, how is Nick supposed to know this? We mentioned it on podcast before. I, I don't know. Jinzo. Jinzo. Oh, man, I knew that. Not really. It's a Yu-Gi-Oh card. <laughs> Summoning related term found in Final Fantasy VIII. Shit, that's the one that I've played the least of everything. Nine and prior. I, I really don't know. You know? Junction? Junction. Evil bad guy found in Ninja Gaiden. I don't know. Jack Wheel. Jack Wheel. I was going to say Jiraiya. 90s was... term for interracial love. <laughs> jungle love? I'll accept it. Jungle fever. Or, okay. Oh, wee, oh, wee. If I had thought about it longer, I would have gotten jungle fever. B words? Yep. This mighty dragon has 3,000 attack points. And to bring him out, you need to sacrifice two monsters. Of course, that's a blue eyes or white dragon. I wasn't done reading the question. <laughs> Don't let him bite you directly. It will drain almost half your life points. Blue, blue eyes, white dragon. You can do anything you want, just as long as you... <laughs> Bow. Believe! Oh. <laughs> Believe. This TV show has some great lines in it, like, No, I am the one who knocks. Breaking Bad. Correct. That was fucking tight when he said that. Yeah. Brad feels this band ripped off the monkeys. Oh, the Beatles. <laughs> <laughs> I didn't think you would know that one. <laughs> of course, it's common knowledge. We got Brad Nose or Treasure Hunting for Nostalgia, Nick? Uh, Treasure Hunting. There's Top of the Top or Randomness? Randomness. There's five questions in each category. In episode 37, 37, who said, I'm here to take a Pepsi challenge? That's a question? Yeah. You, you kind of raise your voice at the end of that. In episode 37, 37, who <laughs> said, I'm here to take a Pepsi challenge? Um, I guess Jordan. It was Karen. Okay. Because I asked her what her favorite position was, and she said, I'm here oh, to take a okay. Pepsi challenge. <laughs> in, ep in episode 32, short and sweet, why did Brandon icicle Brad? It was not a result of a punishment. <laughs> I don't know. I listed too many Coke products on my top five drinks. <laughs> well deserving. <laughs> what episode was Chris introduced? Enter Chris? I don't know. I'm supposed to give a number, I'm sure. Correct. <laughs> I don't know what the number is. I should probably get a half point for that. <laughs> Either one's acceptable. <laughs> Name two things that go great with Fresca. <laughs> um, penis and fecal matter. Fecal matter is not one of them. <laughs> <laughs> it was a baked tilapia or any other white fish. <laughs> and penis, right? Penis was one of them, yeah. yeah. Who got sent to the glue factory? For Mega Man 6. 
six. Oh man. Uh, uh, I'm gonna guess centaur, man. <laughs> Correct. <laughs> top of the top. In episode eighteen, albums equal CDs. What was Brad's number one album post two thousand? By the way, Stadium Arcadium. Oh, that's what I meant. Dang it, I got it mixed up. In episode 42, side-scrolling action. What was Brad's number one side-scroller? We're in L.A. Apologies for the sirens. Yeah, this is like the fifth one we heard. We're not. <laughs> it's dark and we're not going outside, so... <laughs> two seconds. Mega Man 2. Symphony of the Night. In episode 47, Mythical Beasts and Soiled Shorts. What was Brad's number one monster that he could turn into if he could? Dragon. Correct. Dragon. <laughs> In episode 7, Grip It and Rip It, who was Brad's number one old school wrestler? Macho Man Randy Savage. Correct. In episode 37, 37, who was Brad's number one Kevin Smith character? Jane Silent Bob. Correct. Last category? Uh. Oh man, that was righteous. Brad knows. There are four questions in this category. Nick is falling behind, so he'll get to pick first. <laughs> Animals or potpourri? Animals. <laughs> this is the best animal on the planet. Oh, fuck. <laughs> um, a cat? Correct. <laughs> I almost said dragon. <laughs> <laughs> this is the scariest animal on the planet. Oh, shit. Such a twisted category. I don't know if it includes things like behemoths. It does not. It's straightforward. <laughs> and I don't know if it includes insects. Hmm. I'll say a spider. Snake! It's oh, a snake. snake! This is the most overrated animal. Ha <laughs> ha Dog. <laughs> correct answer. I'll accept it. Stupid little dog. <laughs> This is the easiest animal to kill. <laughs> oh, man. Again, I don't know if it includes insects. I, I saw you eat a chicken heart today. <laughs> chicken is one of them. <laughs> I was probably I was gonna say chicken because I remember you saying you like twisted a head off of them or something like that. We we gave it a heart attack, <laughs> and then the other one was a hamster because <laughs> I snapped its neck by falling on it. All right, so Brandon, potpourri, the best restaurant on earth. Oh, it's Korean barbecue. The easiest body part to injure, wrist, foot. I couldn't test that. You never broken a foot, but you've both broken your wrist. Yeah, but I hurt my foot all the fucking time. You never broken though. Funniest movie ever. <laughs> Dumb and Dumber. Correct. The worst human being on the planet Earth. Marissa. Correct. <laughs> So, Brandon has 15 points, and Nick has 10. So Nick will be able to choose which category he wants first. Okay, so Nick is going to choose first. Welcome to Lulu's Lightning Round. <laughs> Nick is hooked up to the Shockmaster, and he gets to choose out of these two categories. Who beats who, or cut? <laughs> um... Who be too? Because I don't know what the fuck cut is. <laughs> Neither do I. <laughs> okay, who be too? Unfortunately, he has chosen the harder of the two categories. Oh, oh no. no! These are going to be which Mega Man boss beats which Mega Man boss. Oh, dude, I give up. <laughs> I never use the appropriate boss when I'm fighting him. You have as many guesses as you want. <laughs> okay. Let's see. We at least have to read through the 12 questions. <laughs> I always use the Mega Buster. Shit. At least it's not the face. <laughs> okay. Oh, I'm, I'm answering now? Yeah. Oh, fuck. Iceman. Okay, give me the, uh, Heat Man, Fire Man, uh, 
Woodman, Leaf Man. I, can I pass? Yeah. Pass. Heat Man. Ice Man. Cut Man. Quick Man. Flash Man. <laughs> um, I, I don't know. Leaf Man. Woodman. Air Man. I don't know. Pass. Crash Man. <laughs> I have no fucking clue. <laughs> Uh, pass. Charge man. Pass. Needle man. <laughs> I don't know. I, I, I never used the right oh, guy. Sucks. Pass. Gravity man. Pass. <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> Gemini man. Uh, pass. Uh, Tomahawk man. Pass. Yamato man. Pass. Guts man. Pass. Feral man. <laughs> pass. Shade man. Pass. Oh. I don't know. I thought you knew shade man. I, 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 all I was going to do was, like, think about, like, what games they were from, and while that was going on, I you couldn't, couldn't think. I couldn't even think about what games they were from, and think about other bosses in the game. That's what I was trying to in the, at the beginning, and I didn't get any of them, so I was like, all right, yeah. just give up. <laughs> so, Iceman uh, is Elect Man, Heat Man is Bubble Man, Crash Man is Air Man, Charge Man is Stone Man. Needle Man is Gemini Man, Gravity Man is Star Man, Gemini Man is Snake Man, Tomahawk Man is Plant Man, Yamato Man is Tomahawk Man, Guts Man is Bomb Man, Feral Man is Bright Man, Shade Man is Spring Man. I had to do research on most of these two. So it's Brandon's turn. And he has no motivation to try, because I didn't even challenge him. <laughs> I'll tell you this, I'm not putting it on my face this time. <laughs> Oh, on the bicep? Can't do it on the leg. Why not? You have a heart attack. Can you? Yeah. Don't do it on the leg. <laughs> How it's too have... close to your femoral artery. That's pretty dangerous if this shit gives you a heart attack. So you have cut. This is who directed what movie. Oh, man. Ready? Oh, oh. <laughs> Hurry up! Oh. <laughs> they did that shit to me too. Okay. <laughs> A Nightmare on Elm Street. Wes Craven. Terminator 2. Uh, John, James Cameron. Transformers. Michael Bay. Kazam. <laughs> Shaquille O'Neal. Paul Michael Glasser. Give me the just give me the fucking next question. Kill Bill Volume Two. <laughs> You're not gonna do in this cat good in this category. <laughs> Pulp Fiction. Oh, you lost one. <laughs> oh shit. Put it back on. I'm trying. Just put it on your leg. <laughs> <laughs> oh man, it came off. Oh fuck. <laughs> Just put it on my bicep or something. <laughs> it doesn't work unless it's on. Oh! <laughs> Pulp Fiction. Oh! oh, oh. Spunk Master. <laughs> I don't appreciate your tactics. Hurry up. <laughs> Hurry up. Is it working? Yes! Oh! <laughs> <laughs> oh, what the f Dude, it was! <laughs> Reservoir Dogs. Uh, okay, obviously you're not going to take it seriously. Clockwork <laughs> Orange. Uh, Kubrick. Eyes Wide Shut. Uh, Kubrick. Silence of the Lambs. Which version? Uh, the movie title, Silence of the Lambs. Uh, I don't know. Uh, <laughs> the Shining. Which version? TV movie or the real movie? This is who directed who. <laughs> movie. I don't know. Pass. Black Swan. Uh, uh, Zoolander. <laughs> Zoolander. Dude, you got a <sighs> way easier category. I would have beat your ass if I had that category. Oh. <laughs> that was intense. Oh, I'm Can sweating. Can you give me that, that that brown thing, dude? I'm I'm really sweating. Brown thing. Yeah, that. This? Yeah. So, oh. since Brandon is a victor, he gets to choose his prize first. 
Oh, are these mouse pads? Mega Man mouse pads. Oh, that's cool. tight. I'm taking part two. <laughs> I mean, damn it, I should get shocked for saying that. <laughs> you want to get shocked in the face? No. <laughs> It's alright. <laughs> no. Yeah, dude, we're back to okay. Is this three? Yeah. See, I didn't even know that. I mean, th this when we were doing, playing through them, three was the one that I didn't play. Oh, I see. Or maybe it was. I never mind. I think I do remember playing this one. They just all blend together after a while. They do. Uh, I don't have a punishment lined up, but I wouldn't hold uh, anything against you if you wanted to put four shock pads on Nick's face. <laughs> I wouldn't do four. I, I'd only do two. Uh, so that'll do it for episode 60 of Treasure Hunting for Nostalgia. This is Brad. This is Brandon. This is Nick. Happy hunting. Oh man, when I put that one on.